Hi friends! Uh, hello, hi, how are you? So, uh, today's video is going to be an update on everything that's happening with my collab. Um, so basically, what's going on? I want to address everything that I've seen, every question I've seen, and just try to give you guys a real full picture of like what's happening with the Midas launch. Um, because, wow, it sold out. There's been some issues that I definitely want to make sure everybody is aware of. I want to give you guys information on all of that, and I also want to give you guys information on the restock, when that's happening, um, everything. So the first thing I want to say is when I launched my initial Midas Cosmetics video, and it was very well received, you guys were really, really nice about it, um, but I think there was a little bit of confusion because of the way that we did the initial two launches, how we kind of separated the launches to different days. So there was a subscriber-only pre-order that was on the 25th of January, that that was the one that you needed to sign up to get the email so you could get the code so you could get on the website, and it was really supposed to be just for my subscribers. We did that for a lot of reasons. Number one, I wanted to be able to give people more of a chance. Number two, we wanted to see how the site would handle that level of volume because Midas hasn't really had that type of volume before. So we wanted to make sure the site wouldn't have any kinks. Um, and it actually did end up having a couple of issues that we were able to fix before like the big public launch, which was really good. Um, we wanted people to have more of a chance <laughs> to get the products. And we thought by splitting it up, we would be giving people more of a chance to get it. Um, we never could have anticipated that the stock that we had for that sold out as quickly as it did because it sold out in like I think like nine or ten minutes then after the 25th happened and after we had done all of that um at that point in time on the 25th when we did the subscriber only pre-sale we knew that the lunar new year holiday had been extended at for our factory where um, our products are made in china we knew that that had been extended because of the coronavirus so we knew that holiday had been extended and that people were not going to be returning to work at that point in time we thought that they were coming back on the 30th so we thought that we would have plenty of time to meet and fulfill all the orders by the 14th which is what I promised in my initial video. So then we have the big pre-order and everything um, on the 28th and after that happened we found out that it was getting extended even further um, into February. That was when we realized that the chances of us being able to fulfill the orders by the 14th were now zero. It gets to a certain point where if they don't ship by a certain time the chances of shipping them out by the 14th just wasn't going to happen. But we thought at the time that they were only going to be pushing it a few days. We thought we could push the shipment uh, 11 days and we let everybody know every single person who bought the thing got emails I made an announcement on Twitter and most people were fine with that at the time when we announced that we did say we weren't taking cancellations at that point uh, however I think like between 10 to 15 people did reach out to cancel their order and they were we obviously canceled them we didn't want like a mass cancellation <laughs> just because we were still getting the pallets within a reasonable time frame um, but also only a couple of people actually ended up reaching out to get those and they were refunded Funded. That brings us to now. We're almost at the 14th and the day it was supposed to be shipping out We were already supposed to have everything and we obviously don't so what's happening now is the date that the factory is now Closed for even longer their holiday has been extended even more due to the coronavirus parts of the factory are opening up and different sections It's like a big thing <laughs> This is how it's been explained to me It's like a very big organization um, and parts of it have been opening But the part where my pallets are being made a lot of people went home for vacation uh, for the Lunar New Year and now are kind of unable to get back because of quarantines and because of testing that needs to be done in order to travel. There's a lot of travel bans going on. There's a lot of panic right now, especially in China because that is where the virus started. So as a result of that, they've extended the holiday even further. Um, we are not anticipating it to be extended even more than what it is right now, but obviously we have no idea because we didn't anticipate anything to be delayed in general. None of us anticipated like a worldwide health crisis. Um, so at this point in time, we are anticipating getting the shipment in March at some, it really, it really stinks because everything is there. Everything was made before the Lunar New Year. What we were waiting on for our shipment was PR boxes that were going to be finished after the Lunar New Year and then sent with everything. It stinks because right now everything is just sitting there and it's literally just, it cannot be shipped to us uh, because they, there's nobody there to do it and also they don't want to send like the two separate orders. So we're kind of at a standstill with what we can actually do. I know Rocio has been working like round the clock <laughs> to try and find solutions. And honestly, like I was like, I will pay any money. I was like, I will do anything to get this. Um, she's been the same way. And there is 
literally no way possible for us to get the pallets in time to ship on the 25th. So with that being said, and with that new information that we found out of it being extended until the end of the month, uh, we no longer know when we can tell you we're going to ship out the pallet. We are obviously very hopeful that they're going to ship out like mid-March. That's kind of the hesitant time. However, we obviously can't tell you now because I don't want to give you guys another date and be like, no, by this day, it's going to be here. And then it's just not um, because of all these delays, because of the virus and everything. And I also don't know how the coronavirus is going to spread. I don't know if that's getting contained. We, I obviously can't predict that. Um, so obviously we are hoping for mid-March to that end of March um, for people who have already placed orders, but obviously we don't know for sure. With that being said, if you would like to cancel your order, you absolutely can do that and get a full refund. We're not trying to hold anyone's money, messing with people's money. I don't want to do it. So if you want a refund, no harm, no foul, like email Midas, they will take care of it and they will offer you a full refund. And I honestly like understand, <laughs> like I get it. Also with that being said though, if you don't mind the wait and you don't mind waiting until like March, like mid-March is kind of what we're looking at right now. If you don't mind that wait, we are going to be including we talked to another distributor and they're making us little smoky glow makeup bags that everybody who orders anything from the collection will be receiving in, in with their box so you will be getting like a little gift i'm gonna try to personally be doing something <laughs> i wanted to like write every single person an individualized note but my wrist is broken my dominant wrist so now we're trying to think of ways that i can like type something and then like just sign it or something i really want to send something to you guys who are being so patient and waiting and being so supportive and by the way like the amount of people that have been so incredibly kind about this whole situation because I people have been getting their emails obviously and people know what's going on and people have just been so kind to me even the people who have canceled have been like no I'll buy it again I just don't want to like have my money held up and like thank you <laughs> for being so kind about this it's one of those situations that's like really heartbreaking and embarrassing and it sucks it's also something where I'm like I there's nothing we can do um which are like the worst situations in life I feel like obviously for me as much as it's frustrating and it sucks I'm also glad that our factory is taking all the precautions they need to to protect their workers and keep their workers safe and make sure that people are not spreading the virus making sure that just making sure everybody's safe I really appreciate that they're doing that I know that so many people have now had this and have now passed away from it and it's just absolutely heartbreaking to see what's happening and seeing this spread and I think I'm glad that the factory that I work with is taking that really seriously and taking health over just like making money I appreciate that part of me is obviously frustrated but part of me is also appreciative they care enough to do that. At this time, there is no evidence to support that the coronavirus can be carried over on things like imported goods. There's just no evidence to support that. It seems like it does not sit on items. So we are not worried at all about things like coming over and then you're putting it on your face and you're going to get the coronavirus. Like that's not at all what we're worried about. I got all of my stuff from the same factory when I got my PR boxes and samples and stuff. I've had no issues. However, just to take an extra precaution and to like kind of ease people's minds, we are going to be sanitizing everything when it comes in um, and just making sure that it's all sanitized before it gets sent out just to ease people's minds because I know that right now it's a little bit of a scary time and everybody's really worried about like health and stuff. I really want to apologize. I'm so incredibly sorry that this is happening. I'm so incredibly sorry that things are being delayed in a way that we didn't expect and if there's anything like I can do <laughs> for you guys, let me know and I'll do it. It's it's one of those things that's just a really crappy situation. So we're trying to make it right by being as transparent as possible and by allowing people to get the refunds and doing the makeup bags. Like we're trying really hard to make up for it, but I know that's not good enough for people sometimes. And that sometimes you do your best and <laughs> it's still not good enough and I completely get it. So I really, really apologize to you guys if any of you are let down or upset. With that being said, obviously a lot of people have been asking about a restock so they can buy it um and honestly it's so up in the air right now our hope is that we can have a restock in april where people who met, we're going to order more pr boxes than we did the first time around we didn't anticipate the amount of people that would want pr boxes we're going to do that obviously and we're going to do a restock we want people who didn't get the chance to get it to get it but it's looking like because of all the delays we want to put the customers who already bought it first so getting their product shipped up to them as quickly 
quickly as we possibly can is pretty much our number one priority. If everything comes in March, like we are kind of hoping, uh, the restock would be happening sometime in April. And I'll keep you guys posted on that, obviously, on all my social medias, including this channel. If you guys have absolutely any questions, feel free to email Midas, DM Midas, DM me, comment here. I mean, I really try to go through the comments and make sure I'm answering people's questions. And yeah, I don't know if there's anything else I need to say, but I'm pretty sure I covered all everything. Um, thank you guys for being supportive. And I am so, so sorry to anybody that feels let down or upset by this. Um, and I hope we can make it up to you or I can make it up to you in any way that I can, honestly. I love you guys so much. I'm not gonna do my typical outro because it doesn't feel right for this type of video. Um, but I love you guys and I'm sorry. Um, all right. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.